What's good? What's good? It's the one and only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man. So we got Canelo Alvarez in the news today. He has been mandated, ordered by the WBC, Mauricio Suma, to fight David Benavidez, all right? Now, I'm going to be honest. Don't get your hopes up. I mean, we knew this was going to happen. Uh, I did a video on it. We knew this was going to happen actually last year sometime. Uh, that, that March 2024, where he would be mandated to fight Canelo, right? And I told you guys, even then, he still has, he, like, just because he's mandated doesn't mean he has to fight him next. And I highly doubt. It's like, when we, the, the fights that we, like, if you notice, when, when, when it's a fight that we actually would like for a fighter, like, when they're, when they're mandated, um, we don't ever, we don't, we, we don't get those fights. Like, when it's a fight that's, like, an actual good fight, it's only the, the fights that, that's mandated, you know, that we don't, like, um, that we end up getting. Like when Canelo was man mandated to fight, who was that? Uh not what it wasn't not, not Rocky Field and who was that that he fought um in Miami or if he was in Florida. Who who was that? Um when he was mandated to fight Abney Yildrum, that's who it was. Um you know Abney Yildrum was able to get that fight. So now that, he, that he's mandated to fight David Benavidez, well, let, let's let's see if, if that'll happen. I highly doubt it. Um, and then, uh, bro, well, look, I'm, I'm finna go ahead and get into it, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and talk about it, all right? All right, so, shout out to Marker.com. It says, Canelo Alvarez to face David Benavidez by order of the WBC. Mauricio Suleiman, president of the WBC, said that there are already talks between both parties. Now, that's kind of contradicting to what's been said, but... Let's, let's go ahead and talk about it. It says, Mauricio Suleiman, the president of the World Boxing Council, a.k.a. WBC, has made it clear that Canelo Alvarez, this world super middleweight champion, must face David Benavidez in 2024. The fight, which has been in the works for several months, is a mandatory bout that Canelo must fulfill. Otherwise, he will be forced to relinquish his title. Suleiman emphasized that Benavidez will confirm his, I'm sorry, confirm his mandatory status which would oblige Canelo to put his 168 pound championship belt on the line. It's very likely that Benavides will confirm his mandatory status, Suleiman told Boxing Social. Canelo wants to fight in May and they are on they're in the same company. They must already be talking. They've already negotiated. We're letting them negotiate and we'll see what happens by May. And then the WBC can step in. The fight will be welcomed by, welcomed by the fans. David Benavides, who holds the interim WBC title, is entitled to challenge Canelo for the world for the world title. This highly anticipated fight has I'm sorry, this highly anticipated fight has been eagerly awaited by boxing fans for quite some time. Suleiman did not provide the specific date for the fight, but he mentioned that the WBC will set Benavides as the mandatory challenger from March onwards. However, Canelo will be free to face another opponent in May if he chooses to do so. All right. Sorry about that. But, um... Benavidez boasts an undefeated record of 28 wins and zero losses, with 24 of those wins coming about in way of knockout. In contrast, Alvarez has the record of 60 wins, two draws, and two losses, making him a highly experienced and formidable opponent. Canelo recently announced that he will be stepping into the ring on May 4th at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, which is one of the most significant weekends for the boxing world. While his opponent has not been officially announced, there what there is speculation that Canelo could face David Benav I'm sorry, David Morrell, Edgar Berlanga, or Jamal Charlo, and this is uh, the fight coming in May. So, all right, let's talk about it. All right, man. So this is this is where it gets funny, at, though. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. All right, this is where it gets a little funny because now. Um, we're gonna really see what Canelo wants to do, right? Now, I don't think that Canelo will fight David Benavidez next. I, I, I don't know if he even fights him at all, but I, I don't think that he's gonna fight him in May. I think he's gonna fight uh, Jamal Charlo in May. If I'm wrong, psh, I don't have no problem saying it, bro. It is what it is. But if Canelo vacates that title, if he vacates the WBC, what are, what are y'all gonna say? I mean, because like, 
I'm gonna just be honest with you, man. Like, what, um, what excuse could Canelo have to not fight David Benavidez? I, I'm curious to know, bro. Like, it's not even me. I'm not trying to make this out to be like, uh, like you know, because uh, again, it's sad that I have to do stuff like this because. Truth be told, like, I am a Canelo fan, bro. I, I, I like Canelo a lot, bro. I definitely think he's one of my favorite Mexican fighters, bro. But I have, like, I, I keep things 100, bro. And I, like, this is a fight that I want to see, and I'm not getting it. So, like, of course I'm going to push for the fight that I want. And um, what excuse would it would it be? What, what excuse would Canelo have if he if, for, for not fighting David Benavidez? I want you guys to tell me an excuse, right? And don't give me the BS of Canelo can fight whoever he wants because he, he, he bro, he, technically he can, yeah. He can fight whoever he wants. But the thing about it is, bro, if you're in the sport and you're going to petition at the high level, then we expect you to fight high level fighters. So I don't care what, I could care less about what anybody has to say. It, I, I'm, I'm just curious to see what Canelo's next move is going to be. All right. Um, again, as you guys heard, he doesn't have to fight uh, Benavidez next, but he does have to fight. You know, he's mandated to fight Benavidez. Now, we've had a similar situation with this, and we also know that the WBC will bend their backs for Canelo. Um, we, we've had a similar, similar situation with this. You guys remember when the WBC mandated Canelo to fight Triple G? And, triple, and Canelo was more so on the fence, like, bro, I, I'll throw the belts away. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't uh, care for the WBC. And then he went on that whole, you know, campaign of not fighting for the WBC. And I think it was the Canelo versus um, Chavez Jr. fight. Uh, when they were, like, they had made that, some, they made up some bill for Canelo. And, um, and Canelo, uh, he just told him that he didn't want to fight for the title. Like, he, he didn't even, you know, he, he didn't even want that, that belt. So, you know, they've had a run in before. And I wonder if it's going to happen again, bro. Um, Canelo makes it obvious that he's going to do what he wants. And, you know, he earned his right to pick and choose his opponents. I mean, I'm not finna, we, I don't think that's up for debate. But it's just going to make him look really, really, it's going to make him look very suspicious, bro, if he drops that title, bro. If he if he if he drops the WBC, if he drops that belt, bro, oh yeah, I'm sorry, bro, but you you y'all can y'all can say oh you want whole Canelo so Hall of Fame. Nobody's arguing about. See the stuff, and, and that's the thing that gets me that the Canelo fanboys do. You guys argue, you, you you guys try to bring up a point that nobody's arguing against. Oh Canelo fought this guy, that guy, that guy. Nobody said that he didn't. Nobody's arguing with that, that Canelo, but this comes with the responsibility of being the face of boxing. You don't like it, give up the titles, but that's going to make you look real suspicious. And besides, who else does he have? Like, what other options does he have, bro? You're going to fight Jamal Charlo, you're definitely going to get criticized for that. Jamal Charlo's not even ranked in any, any of the Super 6, I'm sorry, Super 6, uh, any of the Super Middleweight sanctions. Sanctioning. So it's like, he's not ranked in the WBO, the IBF, the, the, WBA, the WBA, or the WBC at 168. So how are you going to justify that, bro? You can't. So, I don't know, man. Walls are, the wall, it, it, it's not looking good, bro. It's not looking good, man. And, uh... I just, I, I just, um, I hope that Canelo does the right thing. And it's, and again, even if Canelo was to lose, bro, it would make no difference. His career is already solidified, bro. But this is the fight that we are, oh, we, we are deserved this fight. We rock with him, fighting everybody else, bro. Like, he has to fight David Benavidez, bro. If not, bro, that name is gonna, like, forever be, you know, it's gonna be that, he, no matter how good, and think about it, bro, that was suck. To know that you've done all that, but the, at the very end of the sentence, you know, they're gonna say down, but I wonder what it would've happened if he would've fought David Benavidez. 
you know? That's my thoughts on it. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Do you think Canelo's gonna take this fight or do you think he's gonna drop his title? But what do I know?